year. This came up actually a couple of days ago. I just haven't actually got round to it. But it's Anthony. Uh, Anthony and Gavin turning the fans against Opie. So yeah. Let's go. Like just uh, yesterday, I was talking with um, a complete idiot uh, on the phone, Chad Zuma. And he says, he's uh, Wait, I don't know who that is. It's a sort of a comic, supposed to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he says uh, something to the effect of. Wait, you uh, talk on the phone? Uh, well, here. Oh, okay. On I see the that. show. I would never. Right. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Opie is like this, too, by the way. Opie says that. Uh, oh, this is a, a better example than stupid Chad. Opie posted something yesterday that I turned the fans against him. He's, he's said this before. I've turned the fans, the old o a fans, against him. First of all, I, what amazing superpower do I have to right. do that? If someone likes somebody and is a fan of someone's work, there's nothing anyone else can really say <laughs> to affect a normal, top of the old bell curve, you know, person. To, to go, oh, fuck that, I'm not listening to that guy anymore. It doesn't happen like that. Yeah, you could say Alex Jones is a file. Right, right. And I'd say, okay, well, I need evidence because that's real. Yeah, and yeah. I don't like him anymore. But just like nitpicking and be like, Jimi Hendrix actually, it was mostly a Stratocaster. Right, it's, right. It's, he wasn't that talented of a guitar. You, you go, I, I don't like Jimmy anymore. But the first question, I heard that too, and, and I was like, okay, why? Yeah. What's the advantage there? What is the advantage? And and in, in the eight years, over eight years, since I was fired from the One show and have been doing this, it's over eight years now, why would I waste my time trying to get people to not like Opie? It, it, it does nothing. It does nothing for me. It does so what's nothing. his timeline? Does he say it's post you firing? Or, no, I thought he said it's during. It was the during, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and it was some chat called Pal, Pal Talk. What's Pal Talk? Pal Talk was something miraculous in the old days. It was uh, I had a, a laptop in front of me uh, uh, during the show, uh -huh. and I would log on a lap uh, uh, Pal Talk, and it was uh, a bunch of little screens with people in front of their cameras, and they would be in a chat room, or I could turn up their volume. It was the earliest version of Zoom ever, yes. And and my camera was on me, so they could kind of see the show from my point of view, even though they were listening to it. It was oh, a cool. unique kind of fun thing. And what I used it for the most, two things. One was, if I'm sitting there going, oh, what the fuck was that actor's name? Uh, uh, and I'd glance down, and 20 fucking people would post the name. I'm like, oh, thank you, pal, talk to you. The other one was to get laid. <laughs> it was so fucking great. Because girls would come on and, and and make their camera so only I could see it and the rest of the room couldn't. Oh. And they'd lay in bed naked and just, yeah, go through their shit, fucking whatever they were doing, and they'd be naked, and I'd be sitting there going, so fucking hot and sand. And you're live. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, Opie was always looking to see if I was typing. And I, I learned at one point to literally talk, doing a break, ba -da -da, and, and I'm, t I'm typing to these girls and sending it as I'm doing a bit. So, he, his, so his brain now is yeah. like, did you guys hear how boring that was, what Ulpi just said? He's yes. ruining the show. Yeah. Meanwhile, you were like, could you roll over on your stomach yeah, yeah, yeah. with some of that ass? You see those big fucking tits? <laughs> 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 yeah. And he says, well, my, my uh, what he said, something has been confirmed. Uh, yeah, it's been confirmed that uh, Anthony was shit talking me on Pal Talk. What? Again, why would I waste my time doing that? And the irony is, it's someone playing him like a marionette. I know, that's Going, what it is. I said that too. This. I I'm go, he make believes him. these yeah. dummies that this dummy believes these people that want to fuck with him. Like, John has the same thing. John, the, the trolls, the trolls, they fuck with him. And and he doesn't realize they're fucking with him. And Opie doesn't realize that these people that go, oh, yeah, I was on Pal Talk. He used to shit talk you all the time. And, and then Opie's like, see? We got it. Confirmed. There we have it. the evidence. Suspicion. It's, was, it's been confirmed. 
I, I had my, isn't it I've had my, not I had my suspicions confirmed. Oh, come I've on. had my sus <laughs> suspicions uh, confirmed. Uh, a couple of fans told me Anthony would trash me on a regular basis on, in the Pal Talk room while we were doing a show. This was the bullshit that I had to deal with for years. What? What? The Opie and Anthony show could have been the easiest gig, but instead it was ruined by so much drama and toxicity. <laughs> He's projecting. He's the. He was the drama. Now, the show shut down because you were shit talking on Pal Talk. Yeah, yeah. And everyone was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to the show anymore because Opie's a dick." Yeah, yeah. Could you believe? <laughs> <laughs> what else does he say? It's hilarious. He was the guy that made it dramatic and toxic. Yeah. In the studio, all the time. To this day, Anthony wastes a lot of energy turning our old fan base against me. I'm wasting a lot of energy. What am I doing? I'm literally re responding to you. That's it. I don't even talk about this guy unless it's in response to some stupid shit he's saying. Waste a lot of time. Pathetic. Anthony and Jim Norton should have moved on and did a show without me, but they weren't brave enough to try. Wait, I don't get that part. I don't either. You were fired. I was fired. So, oh, he's thinking Jimmy should have come with me. Oh, and, and by the way, this. I didn't even have anything yet. Right, right, right. I, I didn't have, I didn't go from your fire to compound media. Here we go. It was fast, but it wasn't instantaneous. So Jim Norton should have come here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or my basement, actually, for a year. Right. That's where that was. But I'm sure Jim went, like, the money at Sirius is, I don't know, 400 grand a year. Exactly. The money, just the ability. just a new network. Right. It would have been like, I don't know, 50 grand. You scared? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have been too. <laughs> Jimmy has the fucking ability. Yeah, are you scared, Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, you want to go run and hide? It's serious with your yeah. half a million dollars a year? <laughs> yeah. You won't stand by Anthony? Not scared would have been. You fucking leave with Jimmy. Yeah. And all three of us do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that would have been not scared. Jimmy's like, I don't know. Uh, I, I plug gigs on, on Sirius. And it gets asses in seats uh, doing comedy. And, you know, whatever it is, I understand it. I get it. It's business. Yeah, you'd, have, you'd be a very good friend asshole with Jimmy. if you weren't like, yeah. why didn't you join Compound the day I started it? Yeah. And take a, whatever, 700% pay cut. Too scared. <laughs> so Opie went and did it with Jimmy for a while. That failed miserably because Opie's a piece of shit. And then he does the Opie show, fails miserably. Uh, he gets on all the time and talks about management was loving what we were doing. No, they fucking weren't. They knew it was a, a failure. You had a couple of comics on, and it just was a, a horribly strained version of what ONA was uh, supposed to be. Why so, didn't Why didn't Joe Rogan go on one of those early episodes? What was the matter with? Oh, him? right, brother man. Yeah. Oh, I had him on my show. Brother Joe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Joe, where are you, man? Yeah. <laughs> Very special guest uh, this week. Sherrod is on again. <laughs> oh, okay. He hashtagged Rogan. I know. Yeah, yeah, I Dude, that. look at the hashtags. <laughs> o and Day, Stern, Jocktober, Wow, Anthony Cumia. He'll use my name to try to get some shit. Right, yeah. Opie Radio, Rogan. Compound Media, Patrice O'Neill, Opie and Anthony, and then finally, of course, thank God, he put it in talent order. <laughs> Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Merchant stream, any episode. Like, like he's, he's, it's clickbait. It's an idiot's clickbait. He bashes me, bashes Jimmy. He shit talks, and then he puts us all in fucking uh, hashtags to try to get heat on his big, crazy expose. I'm starting to feel bad even talking about it. No, I, I don't even things. feel bad anymore. No, I don't mean I don't mean feel bad uh -oh. like I'm hurting him. Yeah. I feel bad that you know that we're delving into that. It's it's oh, sort right. of like when you see someone right. bitching about the haters. Yeah, and yeah. It, they're talking about a 12-year-old who commented on you. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the, those are the same people telling Opie that I was uh, on <laughs> Pal Talk. Right, right, uh, right. Uh, I've heard suspicions confirmed. A couple of uh, fans, really? 
Oh, uh, don't. There's this chick I, I follow on Twitter called Little Apostate. She's really good. But someone will be like, your voice is fucking low. You sound like a dude. Or wear your lips. Or like, your fucking hair sucks. Yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah. I like my hair, my voice, and my lips are real, and blah, blah, blah. It means blah. nothing. And I'm reading it going, don't fucking. You're, yeah, yeah. You're talking to a 13 year old. You're right. And if you went to his house. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? What'd you say about my voice? He goes, oh my god, it's such an honor to meet you. Oh, it's you. It's become a vocabulary of like, I want to reach out to you. Yeah, don't yeah. Give it credence, and don't walk down like, don't brush your teeth at night going. I don't know. Uh huh. Yep, yep. It's not like a <laughs> yeah. protruding nose. It's like a, it's a pretty normal nose. Yeah. Like the, when it gets to you, that twelve-year-old that said it. Has long moved on. Yeah, someone else. They're trashing someone else. Yeah. And hoping. Uh, and Opie's just not credible. No, no. It's it, like if Alex Jones was talking about how much we suck. Yeah, yeah. Or Tucker Carlson or someone that would really with any kind suck. of influence. Alex Stein, even. I'd be like, yeah. okay, Elijah Schaefer, Fleckus. I could list a million people oh. where if they were like, this guy's falling off. He fucking sucks now. No, what am I doing? Like, really? <laughs> how, did, how did I fall off? What did I. Yeah. You're doing pretty well, so I must be wrong. Well, fuck you. And then I would call the guy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's, like, what's, what's happening now? What do you, what do you think? <laughs> Maybe we should just... You're mad I pretended to get arrested? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was funny and weird. You'll never be invited <laughs> to Bertaria. That's for <laughs> yeah. <she's> sure. <laughs> Good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Home to mommy. Bye. <laughs> I think she likes me. She likes me. Well, I can't believe the hashtags. That was the most. Hashtag Rogan. Hashtag Patrice O'Neill. Talk about, yeah. What'd that have to do with Patrice? Or Rogan? Or Howard Stern? I said in my last thing, I would just love to interview OP. It would be hilarious. If someone just needs to actually talk to him and try and fucking just go, bruv. That was funny. Anthony, so this is Anthony Sholin, is it now? Anthony and Gavin. Ah. He's lost, um, who was his next, oh, Artie was after, who was first? Fucking hell. Oh, and Kevin Brennan, he goes on there a lot, doesn't he? But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of that, turning the fans against Opie. Yeah, to be fair, the fans are against Opie just because of Opie. Really, it's not Anthony. <clears throat> You could ask as well. You could say as well. Uh, who are these podcasts? They pretty much their whole thing started from bashing Opie. Um, really. But yeah, that's the reaction. Let me know what you think. Sweet.